everyone. Um, I got a lot of questions. I posted um, this on uh, Facebook for the conference. conference. Ah, still in work mode. The Coffee Monsters Co. Um, Facebook group and then also in um, my YouTube video clip. And so people are wondering how I made this. So I'm going to try my best to do a thorough and um, clear tutorial. So um, yeah, let's, I, I just, I'm just gonna say bear with me as this is my first one. I kind of wrote out the steps to make sure I don't miss anything. So I hope this is um, useful and helpful for you guys. To start, just for anyone who's wondering, I got this, um, this, I guess it's like a postcard, cardstock came in the mail with my Coffee Monsters Co. Vellum order, and the vellum was this one. And so I um, decided to make this. It, it turns out that it's actually perfect, um, like a pocket TN or field note size. And so, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm trying not to bonk my camera a bunch. So, kind of like that. And that would be kind of cute if we made like a little thing. Anyway, so, First, let's go over the supplies you will need. Um, so I don't have any more Coffee Monsters Co. cardstock, but I've got this from a, I think it's like a scrapbook paper, so it's not quite as thick, but uh, it should still work. And so the measurements are eight and a half inches, I guess, wide, and then five and a half inches tall. We'll also need some vellum. And so this one, I bought the digital um, for this and printed it myself. And it was like a blue background that it kind of printed sort of light. It's almost kind of clear on, on this. So I thought that these would work well together. And this I haven't cut yet. So just one sheet of vellum. And then you'll need something to laminate the vellum. And I don't have a laminator, but I've been using these um, peel and stick laminate sheets and I got these on Amazon. Um, I can link them up below as well for anyone who doesn't have a laminator. So as far as like the finished product, if you have a real laminator, I'm not sure. It might be a smidge thicker. Uh, I don't know. And then you'll need some scissors and some nice to have but totally not necessary is a corner rounder and then a paper cutter. And then last for the adhesive, a glue stick. And I also use double-sided tape and these are not my first choice. I am actually, there's an Elmer's craft glue that is also like a glue stick form that would work better, I think. Or um, on Amazon, they have um, kind of like this. So this is their whiteout, but they have a glue runner and it's not, so I know there's some that's double-sided tape, but it comes out and it's almost like, um, kind of like a gel. So it's a glue, it's a glue runner. Um, and I find that to be a bit more secure as far as holding things together, but this is what I have right now. I'm actually out of the glue runner. So this is what we're going to do. Oh, one last thing. I don't have this, but um, there's some people, oh. I don't have this, but there's some people who use a, um, oh, what's it called? I think it's called a scorer. And so it's like this flat thing that kind of looks like this and it's got a bunch of divots in it so that you can make creases. Um, and it just sort of helps you fold things better. So let's just start. I'm going to get my cardstock and I'm going to use my field notes insert as a guide like I did last time. So what I do is sort of go towards the end um, of the, the book and then fold it that way. And then here, if you had this, the score machine, 
uh, you could make a mark and then use that. I think especially for the heavy cardstock that comes in the, um, the vellum kit. So what I'm doing now is folding this. And this is going to be the part that goes in the TN. And then I'm also going to make a little mark. So maybe a pencil would be good. <laughs> Just here, so that I know that's where I want to fold it. Trying to do this straight. Oh, sorry guys. I don't have the best tripod, so I have to MacGyver some things. And that's that part. And then next, you need to measure your vellum. And I, you can do a couple things. So I have on um, this one, like a, I guess a secretarial pocket kind of thing. And then this one is just like a side pocket in here. Um, I think you could do two, just two side pockets. And that would be really easy because it's not, um, so much cutting in this. I just, I just eyeballed. Um, so the vellum, just making my marks on where it needs to get cut and for the height. And then this is where I like to use paper cutter. Like I said, if you don't have one, you could just kind of draw the line with a ruler and go uh, along the line with the scissors. This comes in really handy. Sorry, I should probably be zoomed out more, but like I said, tripod issues, I need to get a new one. So this is the final piece. And I want to fold it. I like to fold it before it gets laminated just so that it's easier to fold when it is, it is laminated. And then this is just really easy. So I'm putting it um, face, whoops, face up. And then I'm gonna line it up pretty much along the edge. I'm not so much worried about like the seal breaking, if that makes sense, because it's only the one side. So um, it won't really matter. And then to make it easier for cutting, I like to put this oops, back on just so the cutter doesn't get like stuck on. Sorry guys, I'm gonna scooch this over a little bit. Try and get you in frame without um, moving the camera too much. Now we've 
got a folder and whoops, the um, the inside, the vellum that'll become the pocket. And then here I just fold it again. And then you're ready to um, adhere it. And so with this, if you want to cut, um, could use this as a guide. I guess, oh, you can't, but <laughs> if you have, so what I did was just, I have a passport TN um, craft folder pocket that I, and I just sort of mocked the side, um, mocked the image up on here to cut. So um, I'm going to do that now, just so that everything consistent. for my ruler so that's one thing I didn't mention that would be handy is a ruler and so I'm just gonna make Okay, sorry I got interrupted by a crying three-year-old. This is kind of hard to see, but I'm just gonna kind of wing it. So now I'm cutting for the pocket. Whoops, it's a little... It was better the first time, I promise. And then go down, actually, to the edge. And then go down. And then I'm cutting off the part that I don't want. Okay, and so like generally in, um, what's it called, these kinds of um, like craft TN folders, like this is completely separate, but I like to leave a little bit um, attached just so that it's more stable, I guess. <clears throat> so now we time, now we time, now it's time for... Putting it all together. So, like I said, some other kind of glue would be better, but this is what I have. And then instead of trying to cut this in half, I just put, so I don't want like the whole thing here because then the pocket would be really small. I just do that and then I'll come back through and trim um, but I'm not the part that hangs off the edge. And I'm gonna put some on the bottom. Again, this is not precise. And then along the side here. I didn't, oof, oh, 
this might not be totally necessary or like the proper way of doing things, but I'm gonna put some glue down too, just to, I don't know, help it. I know glue, like, glue stick's not super strong, but. I almost put it on upside down. Make sure the laminated side is facing out, people. Whoops. Okay. Be straight. Be straight. Be straight. Okay. And so. I have this little scalpel tool, which is totally not necessary, and you should use a cutting mat and not cut on your desk, but I don't really care. Just trim in the extra. Last one. This is hard to do. Whoops. Okay. No, this is free. Whoops. Almost free. So I'm just testing, closing it and smushing it down. And then this is hanging over the edge a bit. Um, just gonna trim it. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Oh, I forgot to glue this down. <laughs> Don't be like me. Glue all your edges down. And then, so lastly, I like to um, round my corners. And I always do it like this because sometimes they don't get lined up correctly. And then, for closure, if you don't have a Velcro, you can get like. Um, cut a, a semicircle in the vellum and then it'll like flap over and so it'll stick here kind of like an envelope um and then that saves you on bulk as well i'm really digging this gingham gingham with the sunflowers it's kind of cute i'm gonna use the velcro um 
And then I like to stick them together. First. Try just eyeball center. And then last, it's ready for your tea. Well done. Oh my gosh, look how cute that is with my yellow cover. So that is it. Um, I hope that was helpful. One thing you could do as well if you wanted is to round these corners, um, like these are kind of rounded. So yeah, I hope that was helpful. If you guys have any questions, let me know and <laughs> let me know if you want more tutorials like this, um, maybe with a better tripod so that you're not spinning around. Thanks.